Hi, I'm Brooke Wallace filling in for Max Brantley for your Arkansas Times News Headline Updates for Wednesday, September the 6th. In a meeting with reporters today, Arkansas's top child welfare officials with the Department of Human Services presented data that appears to show the state's efforts to improve the foster care system are bearing fruit in several key areas. The number of kids in foster care is dropping, caseloads are decreasing, open foster homes are increasing, and the percentage of kids placed with their own relatives instead of foster family in the broader system has doubled since 2015. That's all great news. These were all areas of focus on the 2015-2016 Arkansas Times Special Investigation into the Child's State Welfare System. Read more about the changes on the Arkansas blog. Two inmate deaths in separate Arkansas prisons were referred to Arkansas State Police for an investigation according to the Arkansas Department of Correction. Both were found deceased in their cell. This is the latest in a string of deaths and other problems at Arkansas prisons in recent months. The number 16 University of Miami football team has declined to travel to Jonesboro to take on Arkansas State University on Saturday because of worries about Hurricane Irma. Miami officials could have made the trip, but were concerned about getting back home. ASU athletic director offered to move the game to Friday, but, my, but Miami officials declined. The game won't be made up. A quick plug for an event featuring a friend of the Arkansas Times. Fort Smith native Billy Fleming, the co-author of The Indivisible Guide and the co-founder of Data Refuge, is speaking at the Clinton School of Public Services Sturgis Hall at 6 p.m. tonight. Indivisible Arkansas, Red State and the Resistance is the title of his talk. David Kuhn wrote about Fleming's work on Indivisible earlier this year. And now a plug for the Arkansas Times. Don't miss our event on September 21st called Pig and Swig, which is a premium whiskey tasting and bacon food event. It's at the Heifer Village and you can find your tickets on arctimes.com slash pig. Well, that's all your news for today. Please read more on the Arkansas blog. See you tomorrow.